Yo, what's up guys, it's King Sean here, and in today's video, I'll be talking about the Commanders placing quarterback Marcus Mariota on the injured reserve, some guys they elevated from the practice squad, and other injury updates as well. So, if you guys are new to my channel, leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, I'm on the road 4,000 subscribers, so if you could, hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it, and with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the season begins in less than 20 Four hours for the Commanders. I'm super, super excited. The first NFL Sunday is tomorrow, man. Football's really back, man. This is an exciting time. Um, life is always good when football is back, man, when football is being played. So this is amazing. Super excited. But it is Saturday, the day before the first NFL Sunday. So a lot of moves were made, a lot of practice squad elevations, and a lot of guys were actually added to injury reports for other teams. Not our team, but we do have some injury updates. First of all, Marcus Mariota, he was placed on IR, which is pretty insane. Obviously, you guys know in the preseason, Marcus Mariota did not play in the preseason at all because he was dealing with a groin injury. Well, now he's getting placed on IR not for not a groin injury, but for a chest injury. I don't know when he suffered a chest injury, but um, this is his second injury before the season um, you know, has begun. So it's pretty crazy uh, that he has a chest injury and he's being placed on IR. Now, with him being placed on IR, we are elevating Sam Hartman from the practice squad. So that's pretty cool right there. I mean, he's going to be our third QB. Well, he's, we're actually not elevating him, but we're signing him from the practice squad to our active 53-man roster. Um, so he's going to be our QB3. And then Jeff Driscoll is going to be our QB2. I don't mind Driscoll being our QB2. I actually um, argued during the preseason that Driscoll was looking better than Mariota. And I know Mariota didn't play in the preseason at all, but... I wouldn't mind, you know, having Driscoll as QB2 because he was playing like our quarterback too. Uh, but he's going to be the QB2 to Jaden, uh, which I don't mind at all. And then Sam Hartman obviously will be QB3. So Mariota, he's getting placed on IR. It's crazy, man. We owe him, what, $6 million in guaranteed money. So he's basically getting $6 million for free. Insane. Um, but, yeah, that's that. And then we elevated linebacker Nick Ballore, who we signed a couple days ago. Um, and then we elevated defensive tackle Sheldon Day as well, which pretty much tells you that Johnny Newton, he's probably gonna, well, he's probably not gonna play. He's listed as doubtful, which means he's probably not gonna play, which, you know, makes sense. Um, if he was not 100% ready, and I said this in um, my videos a couple of days ago, if he's not 100% ready, then do not play him, rest him for this week, and then let him go out there next week against the Giants. That's where he'll make his debut probably. So, uh, you know, I don't mind us you know, resting Johnny Newman this week, and then hopefully he's 100% good to go for Sunday's game. Well, next week against the Giants on Sunday, maybe not 100%, but or like 90 to 95%. If he feels ready, and if the coaching staff feels that he's ready, then he will go out there and play against the Giants next week. But for this week, they're just going to sit him out, and then Sheldon Ray, they're going to elevate him. He and Fidari Mathis will be in the rotation with Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen. So that is really it for our side. Now moving on to the Buccaneers. They have ruled Kalijah Kansi out tomorrow's game, obviously, which is huge for us because Kalijah Kansi, he showed a lot of flashes last year with the Bucs in his rookie season. Uh, I think he had like three and a half, four and a half sacks, which is pretty good. And he's the right-hand man to Vita Vea, who is a great run-stopping defensive tackle, one of the best defensive tackles in the entire NFL. So, you know, with Kalaja Kansi being out, that hurts the Buccaneers. And they already have Ernest Jones, or I forgot his name, but I think his name starts with Ernest. He's out. That's one of their defensive linemen. And then their other defensive lineman, Logan Hall, is also out for this week as well. So three of their defensive linemen are out this week, which is not great for the Buccaneers, but it's good for us because that's another guy we do not have to worry about. And the Buccaneers' defensive line is really good in the run game. I mean, they're really good. They were probably the best team. Actually, not the best team, but one of the best teams at, you know, stopping the run last year. Not so much in the pass game, but in the run game, they're really good at stopping the run. Led by Vita Vea, like I said, one of the best, you know, run-stopping defensive tackles in the NFL and defensive tackles in period in the NFL. So, you know, he's really good. But once again, losing Kalijah Kansi does hurt the Buccaneers because he was going to have a better season this year than last year. You know, a little raw coming out, but he did show a lot of flashes last year. So um, I think he's going to be uh, really good this year. But he is out against us tomorrow, which is bad for the Buccaneers, like I said, but is really good for us. So we could run the ball on the Buccaneers. Well, like I said, one of the best run-stopping defensive lines in the NFL, but we have B-Rob, we have Eckler, we have Jaden Daniels, who can utilize his, 
legs. Um, he's not as much of a runner as like a guy like Lamar Jackson. Jaden Daniels is a thrower that can run. Lamar Jackson, I would say, is a runner that can throw. So, you know, uh, if Jaden Daniels needs to use his legs, he will use his legs. And I know Cliff Kingsbury has a lot of play calls for him to use his legs. But B. Rob and Eckler, they could, you know, certainly run the ball against the Buccaneers defensive line. But like I said, that defensive line is really good. So we'll see what Cliff Kingsbury calls up calls some runs up against the Buccaneers defensive line I mean he will um we'll see what types he will come up with um you know will we run the ball mostly through the inside or on the outside we shall see uh but really excited to see how we utilize the run game tomorrow so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications I'm on the 4k sub so if you could hit that sub button I'd really appreciate it and other than that it's been King Sean and I'm out